Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to your own Silicon Valley Tech Talks channel. This is your host Faisal Vatu from San Jose, California. In today's show, we'll talk about Gen AI use cases for enterprises and also some interesting verticals like healthcare. We are fortunate to have Rajiv Pratap as our guest today. Rajiv is a seasoned go-to-market leader in Silicon Valley with specialization in AI. Rajiv is currently the head of strategic verticals at Glean. Glean is one of the most promising AI startups in Silicon Valley today. A few months ago, they completed Series D funding round with $200 million raise and valuation of $2.2 billion. Before Glean, Rajiv was chief business officer at Minds.ai. And before that, he successfully co-founded three AI startup ventures, including Virtual Gold, Avita Software, and Absuba. So without any further delay, let's go and talk to Rajiv and learn from his insights. Hello, Rajiv. Welcome to our show. How are you doing today? Very good. Very good, Faisal. Thank you so much for having me here. Cool. So Rajiv, tell us a little bit about uh, Green's mission and uh, what core problem Green is trying to solve. Yeah, our mission is to bring people the knowledge they need to make a difference in the world. And to achieve this mission, we are focusing on solving the core problem of knowledge. If you think about your workday, and if you think about the enterprise and the work that you do, we have created a tremendous volume of knowledge silos. Right, Every SaaS application is creating a knowledge silo. Every interaction that you have, every knowledge repository that is there in your enterprise is a knowledge silo. Now, the ability for a knowledge worker to find the information they need to do their jobs and improve their productivity and ultimately start generating impact in the work that they do is what Glean is all about. And I would like to talk about three pillars here about how this mission is being achieved and how the vision is being instrumented. So the three pillars I want to talk about are enterprise search. So it's about finding the right knowledge, the right document, the right interaction, the right data that you need. Over the last couple of years, as LLMs have become better fidelity, we have transformed ourselves from being an enterprise search into a knowledge and work assistant. So it's not about just finding the right document or the right interaction or the right data. It's about finding the right answer. And then over the last few months, we have also transformed Glean, the product, into taking actions, bringing autonomy into workflows, multi-turn agentic experiences to bring higher productivity, to bring better efficiencies, address the knowledge needs of workers and make them more efficient. So Rajiv, when this surge in the Gen AI and AI happened a few years ago, a lot of people are now actually comparing this AI, Gen AI surge with the dot-com boom, uh, which happened in early 2000s. The concern is really that will all these AI investments result into material use cases, which will justify these investments. So with that context in mind, what are the Gen AI use cases you are really excited about for enterprises. The impact of Gen AI is and will be everywhere in the enterprise. Let me talk a little bit about how you know our founder CEO Arvind describes this. And he, of course, does it way more eloquently, but I'll still try. So he says, imagine that every knowledge worker has a personal assistant. Now, this personal assistant has looked at all the documents, has looked at all the interactions, has attended all the meetings that the person has supposed to, is aware of all the decisions that have been made, has infinite memory. This assistant never forgets. Also, over the last few years, this assistant now has amazing powers of synthesis and reasoning, which are getting better. Now, this knowledge assistant is sitting by the, the enterprise knowledge worker. 24 by 7, and you can interact with your assistant in an absolutely natural way, the same way you would do with your real assistant. So this is the vision and this is the instrumentation that Gen AI is, is creating for us today. And specifically, if I were to drill down into, let's say, the top few use cases, right, the horizontal use cases. So I would say customer experience and support, the amount of 
time, energy, and cost that we are spending on this today, a lot of this will be taken care of and it will elevate the customer experience. Use case number two I can think of is product or software development and IT. I think Gen AI and large language models and products like Gleam will have, have a significant impact on that. Uh, creative content and uh, generating media or sales intelligence. And you know, the amazing thing is that at Glean, we utilize all of these things. We drink our own champagne and we see how the product is doing in all of these things. And use cases are coming through. The ones that I spoke about right now are what I call horizontal use cases. Then there are vertical use cases. To, to summarize, I think that there is the impact we are already seeing and the road ahead, yes, there might be some trough of disillusionment coming, but the value creation is amazingly incredible. Uh, just a quick follow-up question on this, Rajiv. Are the organizations who are going to buy these solutions already seeing value and you think they will uh, make investment to buy these solutions? Because yeah. eventually that's going to justify the ROI. Absolutely. ROI is, is very important. You've, you've hit the nail on the head. There is promise and then there is business value and quantifiable ROI. And that is where Glean shines. We are getting close to about 500 large enterprise customers. And yes, value creation and quantification of value creation is one of the most important steps that we are taking as a company. To give you an example, the average handle time at a large contact center has been reduced by 17 seconds. A large team of software engineers, their VPN is claiming and we are demonstrating 40% years of engineering time saved on account of Glee. So yes, there are many examples of where executive leaders at our customers are seeing the value that we are driving. And the value is on cost reduction, value is on revenue generation, value is on customer experience. All of these metrics we are hitting and we are quantifying it to demonstrate what value a product and a platform like Lean is delivering today. Rajiv, you were Chief Business Officer at Minds.ai, uh, and they are quite big in using ML and AI in semiconductor operations and manufacturing. Can you share a little bit right. more with us on how AI and ML is actually used in those areas? So, you know, semiconductor fabs are the most fascinating production line that you will see. It's the most complex manufacturing in the world. And I say this by two orders of magnitude. So, so think of the assembly line being uh, a capex of $20 billion, 500 extremely complex machines, and, you know, kind of wafers in an automated way getting routed through these machines in a fairly complex process. The way Mind's Eye reinforced that, the way it helped it, is in the production scheduling and process optimization. So if you think about a large fab, and if you look at what are the two most important metrics are throughput and cycle time, right? How quickly can the wafer be produced? And uh, what is the efficiency of all the machines in this process, right? So production planning and scheduling is one of the most complex software that has been written. And we utilize reinforcement learning or RL as we know it, in making these decisions in real time. So if there's a bottleneck being created on one machine, then you would take that and you would start rerouting it in real time using RL. And in this, in this context, think of the intelligence that AlphaGo created in, in, the, uh, in using RL. That is the paradigm that we have, we have taken in into large semiconductor manufacturing. And we are, move, we are moving metrics like throughput. We are moving metrics like bottleneck prediction. How do you move wafers efficiently through all the machines? Reducing waste. It's, it's amazing how much wafer gets wasted because in the production line, it does not go from uh, machine one to machine two in, in the right amount of time. So to summarize, extremely complex production process, uh, scheduling optimization for semiconductor fabs, and Mindsai is working with some of the largest uh, semiconductor companies and fabs in the world today. 
So Rajiv, let's move on to another vertical healthcare. And I know in your past life, you had a lot of exposure to healthcare as well. So can you tell us a little bit uh, on how AI can be integrated in the healthcare systems? Indeed, Faisal. And that is what really excites me, you know, that the impact that AI can have in healthcare. Kinsey is calling out that from now to 2027, we could be generating opportunity of between one to $1.5 trillion in healthcare using AI, right? So the impact of this is tremendous. And it's not just the financial impact or in terms of a number of dollars. But if you think about assessing risk, if you think about uh, delaying onset of chronic conditions, just the human body and making sure that, you know, the healthcare system can keep us healthier for longer. That on the clinical side of things is just amazing, the kind of things that AI is contributing towards. Now, indeed, it is early days because there's a lot of governance, there is information privacy, there is concerns around, uh, you know, PHI, PII, etc. So we will have to take care of all of those things. But the promise is huge and it is already being delivered. Now, if I move away a little bit from let's say, just the, uh, just the health metrics and move away into things, into operations, things like claims management, things like how do you optimize cost of care? Uh, you know, how do you bring nurses into your home? So there is a tremendous shortage of nurses today, right? I think we have, we have less than 30% capacity of what we need in terms of nursing. And I don't know if, if you've seen this, but at last GTC, the CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen Wang, he launched this thing called a virtual nurse. And I'll, I'll go a little bit and explain that. If you look at a nurse's work day today and what they're doing, 90% of the things that they're doing is non-clinical. It's about making sure that you fill out the right information, you have governance, you, you're following protocol, etc. And that's where Gen AI comes in. That's where AI comes in and says, I will bring autonomy into the workflow. So if you bring autonomy into the workflow of any healthcare constituent, you will make them extremely efficient, often 30, 40, 50% more efficient. And the time that you save will go towards doing clinical work and making sure clinical outcomes get delivered. New drug development, right? Drug research is getting augmented. And, you know, a typical drug research cycle was years. That is being compressed now. So we will see drugs come to market faster. We will be able to assess their impact, their, uh, you know, adverse events faster. We'll be able to address them. So to summarize, we are at the cusp of changing healthcare, utilizing all the powerful tools, techniques, workflow automation, agentic experiences, bring all that to keep us healthier, to assess when the onset of the chronic condition is happening. So it cuts across the board. I am very excited about healthcare. Well said, Rajiv. Thank you so much, Rajiv, for participating in our show. I'm sure audience learned a lot from your insights. Faisal, it's been a privilege and an honor to be here. Thank you so much for your time.